Hello again, guys. Uh, this time, oh, I'm Isaiah. And I'm Jordan. Okay, we're gonna be tasting some uh, international candies, I guess. Um, pretty stoked. So we're gonna rate them each, and uh, it's gonna be awesome. Mm -hmm. One rock paper. Start with my margarita cookies from El Salvador. They look kind of like sea stars. And they've got a little like cherry thing in the middle. They're really calm. Mm. Kind of like peanut butter. It tastes like a cookie. There's nothing really special about it, I don't think. A little crumbly. <laughs> Remember, it's the way that it crumbles. For the future. Mm -hmm. It tastes like the part of a Pop Tart without the frosting. <laughs> right? The part that you don't really mm -hmm. want. <laughs> Alright, not bad. Not bad though. Sorry, El Salvador, that your cookies taste. I mean, they taste, they taste good. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to give it a two. Yeah, I'll give that a two. Northern America, Costa Rica. Rica. Not Northern America, North America. I think that's still that 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 just probably would be easier. It's better country into the continent. <laughs> Good huh? Cat was trying to eat my, my cookie left over in the hospital drug. Trying to help you fuck the margarine. These yeah. smell really incredible. Oh man, chocolate. Wow. These are really good. That's not bad. Chocolate is creamy. Cookie is crunchy. Nice contrast in flavor. It's not too sweet. It's not too sweet. I'm gonna give that a solid four. I think I'll agree with you. That's a four. <sighs> All right. You want some quaqua? Mm. It's quaqua. Quaqua. You got some quaqua. Which quaqua, bro? Peru. Peru. Peruvian candy. Especially when you got a knife sitting right yeah. in the candy. candy. Yeah. <laughs> he also told me not to eat candy, but. Uh... <laughs> Yellow. Okay. Well, let me cut this again. What? Cut it again. Alright, just eat it all. Just eat it all. Just eat it all. Quack quack from Quack quack. Here we go. Sweet thing. I mean, there's, there's better than sweet things. Give it a three. Yeah, I'm gonna give that a three. Okay. So I'm thinking maybe these, uh, one of these Tangos. Alright. Made by Nestle. I think that's probably a somewhat American, maybe. But those are Ecuador. Ecuador. <laughs> and we have two of them. Isaiah's got the other one. Is that what? What kind of chocolate is that one? This is black dark chocolate. This is dark chocolate. Ecuador. It's kind of by the equator. 
I remember it. Next to Brazil. Ooh, crunch. That crunch, man. It's the way that it crumbles in there. Oh, wow. That is the crunchiest cookie that I've ever had. It's really good though. I like that. Solid coconut. Solid four. They're, they're both the same, so one for you, one for him. Thank you, sir. These are from <gasps> Brazil. Brazil. Ready? Yeah, let's go. We go. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Oh, weird. Hmm. What is that stuff in there? What's that stuff in the middle like? What does it taste like? It's just kind of like vanilla frosting, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This is a bit rich. I'm not it really doing it too much. I feel like it's their version of the Reese's. Was it? That's what it reminds me of. Kind of mediocre. Let me give that. Let me give that a one. I'll give it a two. Yeah, that's. It's good, just too sweet. A bit too rich, yeah. I wouldn't eat that. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Try these uh, Ovaltine cookies. That I'm excited for that. Yeah. That's good. Apparently, you're supposed to dunk them in Ovaltine. They ask you right on the back to dunk them. I don't think I would do that. No. Where are those from? The Opal Teen. Can be. Opal Teen. Yes, sir. Bacon. Could not have guessed that they were Jamaican. Looks like they all come in their packs. Nice. Packs of four. I would just open up one of them unless you guys want four cookies. Oh, innovation. Okay. This guy over here. You know this stuff. You should design a soda bottle that has a ball in it. I think it's been done. I don't think so. Mm. Mm. So this is essentially a biscuit. <laughs> yeah, you kind of need the oval thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what they're for. So I'm just going to go ahead and not eat the rest of that. Although even with oval thing. That might be tolerable. I'd just use it any other cracker. It's like a non-sweet graham cracker. Yeah. That's exactly what it's like. I'm really interested to see. Um, <coughs> well, first off, ones, zeros, yeah, one. Okay. Got a little ahead of myself here, but uh, this is called Dolmai Charita. Not so far as that goes, didn't you also just do the oval teens? No. We'll just have to do two next time. Oh, that's right. It is your turn. Throw some chin chin. My bad, I was too excited. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do some chin chin. Okay. Hot chin chin. Okay. And that is African. Woo! From where in Africa? Uh, Africa land. <laughs> where are you, chin chin? I search for chin chin. Yeah, it just has a picture Should of Africa. be the very top of the alphabetical list on the continent side. So it's, I think it's Ghana. Yep. Africa, Ghana. Ghana, huh? How is it? Is it? Really? Mm -hmm. Tastes like a graham cracker. Tastes like 
tastes like elephant ear kind of, but like really thick and crunchy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, if you look at it that way. Flavorless elephant ears. Mm -hmm. It's like unleavened. I can sit here and just chew on these things. Yeah, the really the crunch is nice. I give it a two. these still my chorita. Yep. Here we go. So what does it look like that's a tamarind oh, candy? They make it so it's for me. And uh, it comes with spoons? Yeah. That is truly incredible. I don't know the deal here. They don't smell very good. But they're from Mexico. Yeah. So I'm guessing it might just be like some sort of gross fruit thing. Oh, that looks incredible. Do you, do you think so? Might no, be. I don't. No. It's, it's kind of like, I don't know, improvised here. <laughs> yeah, this looks kind of homemade. Oh, it's being Oh, it's like a fruit leather. Mm. Spoon. What is that? <laughs> wow. It's not like fruit leather. Oh, it's really spicy. It gets even spicier, dude. I'm thrown off by this. Yeah. I did not expect this. So at first it's like fruit leather. And it's like sour. And the spoon is... And then it starts getting like spicy. And the spoon might makes it kind of feel kind of trashy. I almost felt like I was supposed to eat the spoon. That's how low quality the spoon is. <laughs> like I bit into it and I was like, this is part of it. This might be part of it. See, I don't really feel like I want to eat the rest of this. No. It makes me kind of... Really weird. spicy. Yeah. For a candy, that's kind of weird. And what was that called again? That was... Uh, Dolmai Chorita. All right. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming that ones that. on both of those? Or zeros? Zeros. I'm a, yeah, zero. I would zero. not buy that and eat that. All right. These... Hot tamales. Hot tamales. But they're different than normal hot tamales, right? Yeah, they are. Because these hot tamales aren't just cinnamon flavored. They come in pineapple, mango, and lime. So let's take one of each. What's seeing these on the list? Maybe they're from here. Yeah, they're from the United States. They are from the United States. Really good too. All right. Also really good. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm gonna save these. These are really solid. Give these a five. I'm gonna say I'm gonna give it a four. I think that's a perfect game. Yeah. I think it's pretty good. Cool. <coughs> All right. Um. Regueas. Open up these uh, regueas from Iatora, made in Mexico. And they are, look essentially like no wafers with sprinkles. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> that is innovation. The mascot kid has um, sprinkles for freckles. Oh, really? It seems creative. Yes. It is pretty creative. sit and eat these. No. I feel sorry for the kids in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they need some better candy. <laughs> ah, damn. So you put it to zero? That's yeah, zero. it's a zero. Don't even get to store. So 
sorry, Mexico. Mm. But the oh, sponge. Wow. But the sponge. Sponge looks incredible. Stab into this, and my knife just wow. sponge. Wow. And that is Mexican. So, that was pretty good. I kind of like it. It's a kind of weird combination though. I'm going to give it a solid four. I'm going to give that a three. Some strawberry and marshmallow, I don't know. I like it. Alright. Alright. So, don't have Pippa. Mexican cookies. I eat this over uh, Rigas. Rigas. Yeah. I could live on these. Yeah. Yeah, they're alright. I'm gonna say a two. Yeah, up two. Are you ready for some intense palate? I have candy from Africa. Some fancy chocolate. This is high, highbrow chocolate. Madagascar, to be specific. Beer. Made by lions and tigers mm -hmm. and giraffes and lemurs. Mm -hmm. Lions and tigers. Hey. I found the golden ticket. Willy Wonka. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'll 
I'm gonna take a bite of what's in. Oh. Mm. Not my cup of tea. I like it. It's just a, a chunkier fruit leather. It kind of reminds me of like a Starburst or something. Starburst. I'm not really feeling it. No? no I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give that a one. Two or three. I wouldn't really go out of my way to eat that. I would. Yeah. I like it. Good. Get out of mine. <laughs> Got crumbs all over me. I don't like it that much. No? No? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright. You're up. Hmm. Monte Cole. From Argentina. That's a, that's a hefty looking weight. I don't even know. This is. I feel a heavy distance. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it has ninja moves too. <laughs> oh, I think I know what this is. This is like this weird powdery stuff that doesn't taste Ink that bad. That's weird. It's weird. I think it's weird. Alright, here we go. Oh, whoa. Yeah, you're right. I really like it. No, it's just kind of good. It's like peanut butter. Really old peanut butter. It tastes like a nutter butter that's yeah. been aged mm -hmm. for like 50 years. Mm. I can see binging in something like this. Mm -hmm. But I'm not. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna give that a two. That's a four for me. I really like peanut butter, so that's right. I think that's the highest rated candy for you so and far. The guava one before that, when did you guys rate that? I forgot. Three, one. So now we got the violet crumble, and apparently it's the way it shatters that matters. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Where is this from? Violet, mate. I need a I need a knife to do this. Cause it's the way it crumbles. Cause, Cause that's not a knife. It's the way it shatters. Yeah. You see that chocolate flake fly out? Yeah. Oh, there it, it comes in pieces. Wait, no, it doesn't. It it's like a. A really dried out thing that's the cure is kind of like Hmm? Well. Mmm, my god. I really, really like that. You bite into it, and it's like soft chocolate. And then it's like you take your chunk, like you take your bite. Mm, feels kind of like airy in your mouth. Like you're biting into styrofoam. Yeah, and then you start to chew it, and it becomes something totally different. Well, apparently, it really is the way that chatters. It matters. It, matters. it really it is. is. Like, that's what makes it. Mm -hmm. Wow. <clears throat> it's really just the way it chatters. That's that fine. I don't know if I could eat the whole candy bar by myself. It's pretty rich. Be but that rich. was good enough for me. Yeah. Like an almond joy size portion. Mm -hmm. Definitely I'm gonna be sick after all this. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you guys rate that one? That's four. a that's a four, yeah. He's gonna eat that. We're gonna eat. Oh, that's right, we're gonna eat that. That's right. We both had one. So, this white is the white chocolate, chocolate version yeah. of what you had. The tango. <coughs> also from Ecuador. Ecuador, yeah. It's made by Nestle. They also make fantastic chocolate milk. Yeah, they do. So good, let's see. Good bottle of water, too. Wait. <laughs> See what they've got in their incredibly crunchy white chocolate cookie. Very crunch tastic. So 
where it crumbles. It's where it shatters. Right, okay. Again, the crunchiest cookie I've ever had. I never was too keen on the white chocolate craze. Yeah. This is alright. Yeah, the white chocolate is pretty subtle for such an intense cookie. I'm gonna give that a two. I'll finish it. Cover three. Alright, well. It has been fun, guys. Um, hope you enjoy. So moral of the story, just because it's from Madagascar doesn't mean it's good. Mexican children are deprived in more ways than one. And uh, make sure to subscribe. Yeah. Do it for the children. <laughs>